crossover calibrator CC1 video manual video 1. Today we're going to use the CC1 to set the crossover frequency of this amplifier here. We're using this on, on our subwoofers and we wish to set the crossover for 80 Hz low pass. Now if you watched DD1 video manual video 2 you saw us set the gain of this amplifier to 10 decibels of overlap. The next step after setting the gain properly would be setting the crossover properly. So we want 80 hertz low pass. Here's how we do it. Take the manual for the CC1 or the harness for the CC1, plug it into the speaker terminals. Our speakers are disconnected for safety and because it's obnoxious. Plug this into the CC1. We're gonna use CC1 disc A, which is the low frequency CD there's also a disc B which is the very high frequencies like over one kilohertz. We put this into our head unit and we're gonna look in the manual here and find the 80 Hertz track. So for 80 Hertz we want to play track 16. Okay, come over to our head unit, go to track 16, right there. We set our crossover on the amplifier off or in this case I just put it on full so it's it's basically off and we're gonna turn up track 16 until we see the signal light turn green keep turning the volume up there it's green if I turn the volume too far it'll turn red we don't want that we back it down so it's green also on some amplifiers if you don't put the harness to the speaker terminals and you put the black wire onto battery ground this might turn red and uh, you, you just need to put them across the speaker terminals like we have here. Okay, so now the light's green. Now we press read. And now we set our crossover. So we're going to set this to low pass. And we are going to adjust the knob in accordance with these lights here. Start adjusting it down. I went too far. Back the other way. Boom. Right there, perfectly calibrated to 80 hertz. You can see on the knob here, even the, uh, the in markings on the knob indicate that we're probably somewhere around 80 hertz, but this tool is telling us that we are exactly at 80 hertz. We've designed this tool because a lot of amplifiers, this is, the calibration on here is very far off, or there's, there's 50 on one side, 500 on the other side, nothing in the middle, you don't know where you are, so there you go. Thanks for watching.